good afternoon and welcome back to the video lecture series. Um, myself Satyam Chauhan from Atmia Institute of Technology and Science Rajkot. Uh, here we are again have a lecture of basics of engineering drawings. Today our session is on projection of planes. Uh, last time we discussed uh, about the projection of points and projection of lines. Uh, that is the basic uh, idea about the orthographic projections. Um, today we are going to move further and uh, we will see a few problems of projection of points, uh, projection of planes. Basically in today's session we will discuss how to draw the projection of various shapes uh, for example a square, triangle, pentagon, hexagon and, and circle etc. So we will see how to draw a uh, projection of this basic geometry. Uh, in projection of plane, uh, we consider the thickness as a zero. It is basically a geometry but without thickness. That is called plane. So if you see plane, it looks like this but without any thickness. So uh, you might have the idea about various projections and various view. To define any solids we need at least three views. Uh, to define it uh, geometry of a solid we used front view, top view, side view for example left hand side view or right hand side view and sometimes we use the bottom view as well. So these are the basic view we need to understand a solid. So that is the basic view required to explain any solids. To go further in solid, uh, we need to understand what will be the projection style of a plane so that uh, we can learn how to uh, show or how to draw a projection of a solid. Hence, today we are going to discuss various types of projection of planes. Uh, we will we will use uh, the front view and top view basically because as I said the thickness of the plane will be zero. So let us see uh, today's presentation projection of planes. So in the projection of planes basically uh, the figures the plane are used as a figure and these are the object that we are going to uh, see throughout the session. So in example what are the usually asked in the, pro in the problems? So basically uh, to draw the projections means uh, front view, top view and side views. So in our case the side view will be zero thickness so it will be basically a line. So if we avoid the side view we are going to discuss how to draw front view and top view in various condition. And second thing what is going to ask? So the second thing is what will be the given in the problem? So in the exam what can we see is the first thing is description of the plane figure and second is its position with HP and VP. So throughout the session we will be seeing the problems of what type of that figure is for example triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon. It will be in a disc shape so it will be a plane and second thing its position. So we will see what is the position of that plane with respect to XY line and that is horizontal plane and what will be the position or say inclination with respect to vertical plane. So these two conditions are given. So this description we keep in the mind and we are going to solve various examples of projection of planes. Let us see. So in which manner the position of plane with respect to 
horizontal plane shortly written as HP and vertical plane shortly written as VP will be described. So, first thing it will be the inclination of its surface with one of the reference reference planes will be given. So, this horizontal and vertical planes are called reference planes and second thing is its inclination of one of its edges with other reference plane will be given. Hence, this will be the case of an object inclined to the both of the reference plane. So, we have different scenarios here that sometimes it will be parallel to one plane, any of the reference plane either it is horizontal plane or vertical plane or and the second case it will be inclined to the one of the uh, plane for example, inclined to HP or inclined to VP or in third case it can be inclined to both of the plane and one by one in the problem we will discuss this case in, in the problem eventually. So, in the case of let us take a case of rectangle. So, observe that how these projections are can be seen in this plane. So, as we can see these three cases. The first case if the surf surface is parallel to HP and the second case surface inclined to HP that is horizontal plane and if small side of a rectangle will be inclined to VP. So, in our first case the surface is parallel to HP. So, in first case the this is our horizontal plane and the rectangle is given and it is parallel to horizontal plane. So, in our case it is actually parallel to the surface plane. This is our first case. Let us see how to see the projection of this horizontal plane. In the second case it is inclined to the horizontal plane. So, if you see front view let us say front view is this side the projection on VP can be seen as only line as seen in red line that is front view of that horizontal plane. We know the uh, how to see the top view. So, if we want to see top view of that plane we have to see that plane from the top and it can be projected on horizontal plane that is yellow plane on the screen. It will be the same size of that plane that means that is called true shape. Later on we will discuss what is the true shape and how we can obtain that true shape. So, same like in the second example surface in our second case surface inclined to HP it will be the inclined line and that is front view. In case of top view ok here is the difference in the second case if we see the top view in horizontal plane it will be the reduced shape of rectangle and in third case again the line the plane is inclined to the both VP and HP. So, in front view the figure will be looks like inclined rectangle as we can see on the VP. So, that is our top view sorry it is front view number 3 and on the top view it can be seen as a top view 3 it can be seen like that. So, in case of rectangle as we see if we are going to draw orthographic view of the same object. So, in first case it was surface parallel to HP 
so if we see the pictorial pre presentation that will be the VP the vertical plane will give us only a line and on the horizontal plane it will be a rectangle in second scenario the line was inclined to the HP so it gives a inclined line with some angle and in third case the plane was inclined to horizontal and vertical plane so in the C so the orthographic section will be given by this way so in first case the surface parallel to HP and the second one inclined to HP and the third one one small edge here I need to uh, identify one thing that only one edge so some reference should be given as we can see and second thing uh, we need to observe that while drawing orthographic projection in the front view we usually mentioned as a dash in our first case it is a dash b dash c dash and d dash and the top view can be seen by a b c and d similarly in other views also the front view will be shown as a dash so a dash b dash c dash and d dash and in the top view a1 b1 c1 and d1 so we need to give a notation in this manner throughout the entire chapter if we move further the procedure of solving problem so let us say a problem is given so what are the steps we need to consider while solving the problem so as shown in the previous illustration the first step will be assume suitable condition and draw the front view and top view for the initial position so we need to condition we need to think what will be the initial position of the plane before drawing to the inclination or before go to the second step after drawing the first original shape or let us say the initial position in first step in second step we need to consider the surface inclination and draw the second front view and top view so from the first step we always consider the reference inclination to the horizontal plane while drawing the second step so we need to learn from the uh, problem we need to identify that what will be the inclination with the reference to horizontal plane while drawing the second step and in third step after this consideration we need to observe that what will be the final step or final inclination for example with the vertical plane sometimes it's given only with the horizontal plane so steps two will be the final position but many a times in the problem it's given also the inclination with the vertical plane so step three we need to draw the inclination with the reference to vertical plane so in third step we consider only the figure in the step number two uh, we we need to redraw the figure or regenerate the figure the dimension which is drawn in the second step so assumption for the initial position so in projection of plane the first position is always very very important because if we don't if we don't understand the initial position or say the first step figure student always fail to draw the remaining stage if we fail to draw the initial position surface uh, the next stage will be the wrong so initial position means assuming surface parallel to HP or vertical plane so first 
we need to generate the figure which is parallel to the horizontal plane or vertical plane. So first if in the problem surface is inclined to horizontal plane assume it parallel to HP or if the surface is inclined to VP assume it parallel to VP. Second now if the surface is assumed parallel to HP let us say it's parallel to HP its top view will be showing the true shape. So as we see in the first example if the surface is parallel to the horizontal plane the top view is always the true shape and if the surface is assumed to parallel to vertical plane that means the true shape will be always sh shown in the front view. So our front view will give the true shape means true shape means exact dimension. So that is the exact image of that plane. Next third it is begins with the drawing top view or say front view as a true shape and the last step in the final po first position while drawing this true shape keep one side or edge which is making inclination perpendicular to the xy line. So similar to pair number we seen the previous illustration if we, if we know what edge is going to be inclined with the vertical plane so we need to keep that edge perpendicular to the xy line. We will see uh, that was the first step. We will see what is the step number B and C. So now complete it to complete the step number 2 by making surface inclined to the respective plane and project its other view reference number 2 pair on the previous page illustration. Uh, the final step can be uh, by making inclined to the one reference 